43. Senator Lyons. Thank you, Madam Acting uh, Deputy President. And I rise, rise to make a, uh, just a few short statements, given the, the time constraints of the report. And, um, you know, I unfortunately didn't hear all of Senator McKenzie's um, uh, comments, so uh, I can't really make uh, any comment about what was said. But it's true to say that across the country we did hear from a range of witnesses, uh, teachers, academics, TAFE, directors, uh, parents, students, uh, the union, the Australian Education Union, um, the Australian Human Rights Commission and business groups. So it is fair to say that TAFE um, is an important provider of uh, vocational education and training and indeed is the most significant provider of uh, vocational edu edu educational training in the country and its role uh, is, is critical. But what I would say, what was very clear to us right across the country, is its role is under threat uh, and it is being undermined. And um, very few people uh, that we spoke to who gave evidence, and they were experts in their field, whether they were teachers, whether they were the business community who relied on TAFE, uh, whether they were students or academics or indeed the TAFE directors, they all brought a significant expert uh, evidence before us. And the contestability market is clearly uh, not working for TAFE, and um, certainly a number of independent witnesses um, suggested that there be uh, more of a controlled market and that some areas that TAFE uh, should not be competing in. One of the areas of excellence that, uh, that TAFE does provide is absolute solid support. Uh, for student with disability. We heard from an amazing young man in Sydney uh, who was representing the Deaf Society, incredibly articulate. Um, now, the cost of interpreters, uh, Auslan interpreters and note takers and all the other services and supports in particular that deaf students need uh, are under threat. In Wollongong, uh, there was a young man who gave us evidence he he'd completed a whole range of uh, diplomas. Uh, but he physically needed quite a lot of support, and that's at threat too. So clearly, TAFE is a provider of excellence uh, in terms of supporting students with disability. It's clearly a leader in second chance education, and it's clearly a leader in terms of providing um, younger students who've dropped out of school uh, with the opportunity to come back. And we heard evidence from. Um, a young woman in Perth who told us that TAFE was the difference between uh, life and death for her. It was that serious. Her life was so far off the rails. And through doing uh, a youth uh, diploma at TAFE, she's now working in that field, her whole life has been um, changed. And I'm sure that those opposite, in particular Senator McKenzie, would appreciate that education uh, can turn people's lives around. And clearly, TAFE is an expert in that. It also sits within a political space. It was very, very disappointing in both Perth and Wollongong to see, in Perth particularly, the state government threaten uh, witnesses who were giving evidence to the point that uh, the Senate, um, we had to uh, send a very strong letter to um, the WA government outlining uh, the parliamentary privilege extended to witnesses, uh, their employment was threatened, and similarly in Wollongong. So this is obviously getting to be political, but I do think that, um, and I hope that COAG takes our recommendations seriously. We do need to ensure that TAFE survives. It is not just another registered training organisation. It is clearly much, much more than that. And at risk right now is the uh, education, the further education of students uh, with disability, uh, second chance education, of which TAFE is such a strong provider, um, uh, particularly also in relation to mature age uh, people who've become redundant and need to, to change their skills. So we heard a lot of evidence like that, and uh, rather surprising that only two state governments have a clear definition of the sort of role that TAFE plays. And we, we heard evidence of where TAFE was expanding. It had partnerships with universities, 
Uh, one TAFE in particular is uh, looking at a, working with a pro big private health provider to look at how they can uh, do courses of mutual um, benefit, and I think all of those are positive uh, outcomes. But clearly, uh, both the federal and the state governments, through the COAG process, need to be very clear about TAFE. It does need to remain as the provider of excellence, as the benchmark by which we hold all others accountable. And this competitive market it sits in now absolutely needs to be looked at as a matter of urgency, because TAFE is a, is a great provider of uh, vocational educational training in our country. Thank you very much, um, Madam Acting President. Thank you, Senator Lyons. You, you would, will need to seek your to continue your remarks if you want to keep this matter on the notice paper. And uh, thank you. I seek to continue my remarks. Uh, is Lee Graff.